day nine of Vlogmas, everyone. Today is Tuesday the 8th, and we are headed to the vet. Ananda's appointment is at 10.20, and we are leaving here once I finish this video. She still hasn't pooped. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're going to have to give her an enema and then I'm going to have to deal with the aftermath of that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this morning um, I talked to one of my friends who moved to um, another state after she graduated. So that was really nice. Um, so yeah, it's been a good morning and hopefully the day is still nice. Hopefully we get some stuff done and hopefully the baby girl feels better. So let's go ahead and head to the vet. Come on, babes. Yeah, you can't go. You can't go. Yeah, you have to go in your carrier. You ready? Yeah, you are. Oh, I should have put my coat on. I'm also going to be bringing my laptop so I can edit the vlog that went live yesterday while I sit in my car because it is non-contact vet visit so I can't go in with her. So I will be sitting in my car for a while. Hopefully not longer than an hour, but we'll see. We just got here to the appointment and now we are waiting for them to give us a call so that a technician can come pick her up from the car since it is curbside service only um, I sadly can't go in with her so she better act right so they can treat you because if you're mean like you were the last time they won't treat you she gets really nervous when she goes to the vet but she definitely gets even more nervous when she goes to the vet and I'm not there. So I had to take her, I had to do something similar like this um, during like the beginning of COVID because I had mold illness and then she started showing symptoms of mold illness herself. So I had to bring her in um, to make sure her lungs were still working. Um, but they couldn't really check her very much because she kept biting and hissing and scratching at them. So hopefully she's a little better this time because she needs to have a bowel movement. She needs to do it. Yes, you do. Yes. I hope you guys can hear her. She's talking back to me. Baby, why are we here? getting yesterday's video uploaded and now I am going to maybe turn on the rest of last night's movie the vets um, nurse she said that um, they did feel some stool in her bladder so they're going to get an x-ray to determine how constipated she is but of course I called it she's getting very agitated so um, they're gonna leave her alone for a little bit um, so they don't have to just sedate her if they can't get her to calm down then they are going to have to sedate her sedate her so they can get the um, get the x-ray 
So hopefully, hopefully she calms down. I keep telling them like if I just go in, she'll be fine. But I get that like I can't. It's fine. I'll, I'll just be here. <laughs> mm, I just want my baby to be okay. I should have brought water. Oh, I did. Look at me. I was thinking ahead. Um, so I just had to admit Ananda, they said she is very constipated, um, so I will be back either tomorrow or Thursday to pick her up, um, yep. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do at home without her. Um, they don't see any blockages or anything causing it, so it could just be that she's just dehydrated. Um, so she'll be here for a couple days, um, longest they said is potentially two days, so hopefully I get to come back tomorrow and pick her up. Alright, well I'm gonna drive back to the apartment and try to have a good day, but I'll probably just end up laying on my couch until I have to go into work. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from the vet and, um, I, as soon as I walked in, I was like, where is Ananda? Why is she not running in? So I ran to like her beds, all of the places she likes to sleep, and I was like, where is she? And then my mom, who was on the phone with me, she was like, Sarah, you just, you just dropped her off at the bed. I'm not sad. You're sad. She's my baby. I like, honestly have never lived alone without her. I, I got her right before I left for college my freshman year so I've had her for the last four years and like don't really do anything without her so it's weird not having her here but it's only gonna be for a day two at the max so I can't wait to go pick her up I'm gonna my baby <laughs> But so I'm gonna, one of my favorite YouTubers is currently live, so I'm gonna watch that while I do my dishes because I have been neglecting them for the past couple of days because I've been so concerned about just watching her and getting this done and going to work and everything. So we're gonna do some dishes. I'm just gonna warm up some leftovers from yesterday's lunch and then get on my yoga mat and yeah it's a very chill day um, so yeah let's let's do that So like I said, same meal as yesterday. We have the tofu and vegetables. I added some avocado and then instead of ranch, I went with sour cream because I wasn't really the biggest fan of the ranch. I felt like it needed something a little bit thicker. So we went with sour cream this afternoon. So let's give it a, give it a little taste. Oh, and there is some um, sriracha in there just to give it a little bit of a kick. I'm not the biggest fan of spice, but I do like my rice to be a little bit spicy. Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That decision to add the sour cream and the avocados just made this a hundred times better. I think I'm going to make this again. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to enjoy this and then get on my mat. Got done 
on my yoga mat and my camera is dying so I'm gonna plug it in while I spend the next couple of hours just chilling around the apartment cleaning a few things up finishing some laundry that I never got done yesterday hey guys just stopping by to say that my camera battery is still dead so I'm probably going to record this evening on my phone um, I am about to get ready to go to work. I teach a yoga class at 5 and then go into work um, from 6 to 8. So I'm going to make a little snack um, for me to eat while I'm at work after I teach. Um, and I think we're just going to do like some nuts and some berries because that just sounds pleasing to me. So let's put you guys right here. Yeah. That works. Got my berries. Um, sorry if today's vlog seems a little bit like sad. Um, I really like, I know my baby is gonna be fine at the vet. But it's just like upsetting because like I love her and I miss her being here and it's strange for her not to just like be with me. I feel like tomorrow I might feel a little bit better about it all. Um, hopefully I get to go pick her up tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Sorry if this vlog was sad at all. Um, <laughs> like maybe I'm just having like a sad overwhelming day but you know if I am that's okay it's okay to have a w overwhelming day it's okay to just sit around and do nothing all day which is exactly what I've been doing I said I was going to fill my time um, so I didn't think about not having her here but of course I ended up sitting on is that really necessary I ended up sitting on my phone and YouTube and TikTok basically all day it's okay it's okay right it's, yeah it's okay <laughs> tomorrow's going to be better that's all that matters tomorrow is going to be better I am inspecting my blueberries because I don't like soft ones, so I try to get rid of the ones that I don't want to eat, like soft ones. I only like hard blueberries. The best thing in the world, right here. <laughs> All right, so this is ready. Got my nuts, got my berries, and I got my chocolate. What else more could a girl ask for? All right, so I have about 10 minutes before I need to leave to get ready for my yoga class. So I'm gonna throw on some work clothes. I'm probably still gonna wear what I have on now, this tank top and my Buddha pants to teach in, but I need to put on clothes like my work shirt and a long sleeve shirt so that I can go sit at a desk for two hours after I teach. So I'm going to do that and probably head out after that. Hey guys, so I am going to call it a night. I'm going to make some red wine hot chocolate. So I'm basically just going to make hot chocolate and add some wine to it. So we got our hot chocolate. I probably should be making this on the stove, but you know, into the microwave we go. Okay, just used up all my, excuse me, all my milk. Look at this bad baby, it's bigger than my face. We're just, we're just gonna do a shot. Ooh. 
drinks a shot of red wine? Like, you guys are probably gonna watch this and think I'm insane. So do we want to do the red wine first or do we want to do the hot? Let's just, there's no turning back once the red wine goes in. There we go. Next pot is the best pot. The chocolate. Let's mix up the rest of this hot chocolate. You know, a shot of wine might have been a little bit too much, but we're gonna have a great night. I'm gonna go play some games with my friends, um, download all of this video, and call it a night. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments if you think I will be getting on in bed tomorrow or Thursday. Let me know.